holidays everyone today I wanted to show you a Christmas countdown and I know that we're all still in Thanksgiving mode and of course I don't want to not think about Thanksgiving because I love that holiday but I wanted to be sure to get you guys ready for the countdown to Christmas so I wanted to show you a couple different things that we've done in past years at our house I love Christmas and I love making each day more magical than it would normally be and making regular things that we would do anyways a little bit more magical. When I was a little girl, we always had an advent calendar and it looked like this. I don't know if any of you guys used one of these. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below. But you opened up each little box and it had a little chocolate treat in there. And my sister and I would actually share this and I loved doing that, made each day a little bit more special. So when Braylee was little, I used to use one of those and then as she got a little bit older, I wanted her to have less treats and then Gage came along and I thought it would be fun instead of just having treats every day to do a little activity. So with both of these Christmas countdowns, I've added activities and treats. So I'm really excited to show you these. I love Christmas and I just, I'm so happy to show you. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started with these calendars, I'm going to tell you a few things that you need. So for the first one, we're going to need a mini muffin tin. And then I use some scrapbooking paper. For the squares, I used a, paint, a paper punch. I also used some circles for some of the numbers. And instead of gluing this one, I used these little tape squares. And you can use any, anything like this, or you can just use a glue stick, that works too. And then I also got some different stickers, just some snowflakes and just some Christmas ones. And then I also got some numbers. All right, so I'm just going to show you how I made these little numbers really quickly. Okay, so I just took my brown paper and just put it right in this paper punch. And I was lucky and this one happened to be just the right size. Okay, and then I just measured for the scrapbooking paper that's gonna go inside. I measured this one and then went just a little bit smaller for that one. And I always use this to cut all of my paper. You don't have to, you can just use scissors and a ruler. I just can't cut a straight line. Okay, and then once you have both of those cut out, I just took this tape and Took a little square off and then just stick it together. It's really easy. And just put that together. Then I'm just going to grab a different piece of scrapbooking paper and cut out a little circle. And then just do the same thing with the tape. Just grab a little square and stick that right together. I like using the tape because it sticks really well and then you don't have to wait for everything to dry. And when you're making 25, it can take a long time for everything to dry. Then I'm just gonna put that up in the corner. And add my number. And it looks really cute just to stop right there. Like I mentioned, you can make this as simple or as decorative as you would like. To make this stick to the tin, we're going to need to add some magnets. And I use the tape just to stick those on as well. I just took two pieces of tape. Make sure you get it on the top, one on each side. And then just stick those magnets right to that. All right, and then you just stick them on there and they fit perfectly over those little holes on the muffin tins. And then you have your calendar that looks like this. And then for each day I add something different. On the first day, I have two little treats in there. And on the second day, I have a little note. 
And I like to make it an activity that we can do together as a family. So this one says make a gingerbread house. But I think it's fun just to add a personal touch, add things that you guys like to do together as a family. If you like to drive around and look at the Christmas lights, put that down for one of the days because it just makes it a little bit more fun for the kids to get to open that up and read it and then be excited about what you're gonna go and do. And we will move on to the next one. Okay, so for our next countdown, we have these little envelopes. And what you're going to need for that, of course, is some mini envelopes. I used glue for this one. Some ribbon or anything, rope, anything to hang these on. Some of these mini wooden clothespins. And I also used my paper hole punch for this one as well. And then some stickers. So the same thing applies with this one as with the muffin tin. You can decorate them as much as you want or you can just leave them as simple as you would like. Um, with this one, actually my kids helped me pick out all of the paper that we used. They picked out the different papers that they wanted to go together and how we should decorate them. So that was so much fun. I was a little stressed out because it seems a little overwhelming to have so much going on at once, but it ended up being such a fun night and I'm so glad that we got to do that together. So you're going to need that stuff and then some scrapbooking paper and some numbers. And I wanted each of my numbers to be a little bit different. So I got a few different sticker sets so that I could kind of change those numbers up. So I wanted the front of this envelope to go up a little bit higher. So I'm just going to measure that and then cut out a square that size. And then on some of these envelopes, we added another little circle. You absolutely don't have to do that. I think it looks cute without it as well. But if you want to, just grab another piece of scrapbooking paper and punch out a little hole. Okay, and then we're just gonna glue all of that together. So since we were using glue for these envelopes, we put the front on and then set them aside to let them dry. Once they were dry, we decorated all of them differently. So you can set that aside and let it dry. And I also think it's fun to put the numbers in different spots. You can put one up in the corner, one down in the corner on the side, in the middle. Just change it up a little bit. And add a number. And we'll add a snowflake to this one too. And there's that. Okay, and then there's something that goes inside of the envelopes and that's a little message for each day. So on day number one, we're going to write a letter to Santa Claus and send it. So I did this just the same. I measured the envelope and cut out a piece of paper this size. And then I just wanted this front piece to be white. So I used my square paper punch and just punched a hole in that. And then you can glue that on or use tape, whatever you would like. And then just to make it a little more fun, I punched a hole through the top and then stuck this ribbon out so that they could just grab onto that ribbon and pull it out. And again, I'll leave some different ideas that you guys can use for the holidays for each day on Facebook. So be sure to check that out. Okay, you guys, so I hope that you were able to follow along with me while I showed you two different ways that we like to count down to Christmas. Also, I would love to see how you guys like to count down to your favorite holidays, especially holidays that I don't celebrate. I would love to see what you guys do for Hanukkah and different holidays like that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.